Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. In this video we're going to use this tool to hand grind and seat some valves. What this tool does is simply a crank and a suction cup. The suction cup goes on the valve and as you turn this crank you'll notice that this turns in like a oscillating circle pattern so that it rotates the valve to seat it in the seat. And I use two different grits of grinding compound for seat grinding compound. There's a coarse and a fine. So you do it coarse, then you do fine, and then you get a nice seal between the valve and the seat. But before I do that, I have to disassemble the head and take the valves out. I'm going to put the head in some parts cleaners, use some wire brushes to get off all the carbon, and I'm going to clean the face of the head with a steel block and some 240 grit sandpaper. Now I want to pull out all the valves because I want to change all the valve stem seals and I just put my valve spring compressor on. Press it down. Unlock it. Sometimes these things stick. I give them a little tap. Pull out the keys. These look just like that, little keys, two of them, one on each side. You just release the compressor. Like Lift off my spring, push out the valve, and there's the seal. Of course I'm going to have to clean up these valves before I put them back in. And you keep them in order, so you put them right back in the same spot. Now the last thing I want to do before I put the head back together, put the valves back in, is I want to clean up the seats and the face of the valve. The face of the valves, as you can see, and when I took them out, there's a lot of carbon and it's, it's uneven. The seat's fairly uneven. Here's a valve that I cleaned up already, so you can see how much cleaner the face is on that valve. And to do this is fairly simple. I'm going to do it the old school method with some grinding compound. I have some valve face, actually it's a valve grinding compound. It comes in two different grits, coarse and fine. And I just want to clean this up, so I just take a little bit of this grinding compound, put it on the face of the valve where the seat is, where it's going to seat against the, against the uh, valve seat here. I'm going to put this back in here. I'm going to wipe this off a little bit. In a uh, random fashion, you just put out a suction cup on there. When you turn the handle, you'll hear it be noisy and then it'll get quiet when it gets nice and smooth. You hear how rough it is. You keep going until it, it, it sounds nice and smooth. You can hear it getting quieter. So now I know that the face of the valve, face of the valve and the face of the seat will be nice and clean and I'll have a seal between the valve and the valve seat here. I'm just going to clean this up real quick. 
I'll show you that now as I look around the valve I have a nice shiny surface that's even all the way around since it's ground and now it's going to seat nice against the valve. A valve seat will come in here and it'll seal. That way when the valve spring is pulling the valve and pulling the valve shut, I have a seal all the way around. There won't be any leaks. I'll just do that for all 12 valves. Putting the valves back in is pretty easy. I'll show you real quick. All you have to do is slide the valve in and put them back in the order that you took them out. That's really important. Take your brand new valve stem seal and push it over the stem. That's going to hold it in place. Put your spring set on. Now I didn't clean these up because I'm going to be rebuilding this engine in a few months anyway and I'll probably replace the springs. So I didn't do that now. Put your spring compressor over the spring. And it's kind of a two-handed method here. Have your keys ready. I got both keys. I got one sitting off the side. I'm going to put the bottom one in first. That's one opposite side here. So I'm going to compress the spring. I'll have to get the bottom one in. Then I'll slide down enough to get top one in like that. Release the valve spring. Release the compressor. And take a dead blow. Tap it a few times to make sure everything's seated. And that's it. If you take your cylinder heads off for any reason, like I did here, just to remove those broken manifold bolts, it's worth it just to take the valves off, replace your valve seals, check everything out, and then hand grind the valves to the seats to make sure you get a good seal of the valve so when the engine runs, it runs nice and smooth. Now all I have to do is put the head back in and get this thing started. Thanks for stopping by Peace Garage.